How's it look? Is it straight or...? Yeah, but I think it should be a little bit higher. <sighs> You're not even looking, Chloe. Uh, sorry about that. Let's see. Oh, looks great! <sighs> there, perfect. Now to add candles for the finishing touch. Hulk, if you'd be so kind. Thor, you help with the candles. I have already done more than my fair share. Uh, Tony? You just don't get it, do you? We're supposed to be getting things ready for Cap together. What are you talking about? You haven't done a thing to help out this whole time. Oh, come on now. That's not true at all. The oven that baked the cake is made by Stark Industries. <laughs> so, do you guys have any idea how old Cap is? Hmm. Thor, you know how old he is, right? Not really. I've never given it much thought. Hmm. No. Well, now that you mention it... Oh, come on! Seriously? You gotta be kidding me! What kind of friends are you? We put this whole surprise birthday party together and no one knows how old he is? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter how old he is. It's okay. <laughs> it's a little complicated. Let's just say I've been around for a while. Oh. Cap, we... Oh! Don't look behind me! Sorry about that. Looks like I've managed to completely ruin the surprise. So I was born back in 1918. Signed up for the army about 19 years later. I was small and weak. I failed the physical. But I still wanted to serve my country, so I volunteered as a test subject for the Army's Super Soldier Project. The results of those tests are how scrawny little Steve Rogers became Captain America. Then one day, things went wrong during a mission. I ended up crashing in the ocean. My body was frozen in solid ice. I was trapped there for decades. When I woke up, I was here in the present. Maybe they should call me Captain Rip Van Winkle now. No way. So what happened to all your friends from before the accident? Yeah, that's a good question. We really do make the best team, don't we? Hmm. They're all gone now. Oh. I'm sorry. It's okay. I have some new friends now. And they're all wonderful. And no matter what happens, my old friends will always be with me. Right in here. <sighs> Let's celebrate these friendships and your day of birth. Okay, Hulk. Candle time. <sighs> ah! Bruno? You live in my heart, too. Makoto! This is bad. Bruno is on the island. Something is happening. <gasps> Makoto! What is it? He just Makoto! passed out! Makoto! to my body. What have I become? <laughs> Fascinating. I cannot believe a body such as yours was able to absorb Red Skull's nanomachines. 
This is better than I'd hoped for. I can't wait to see your full capabilities with the power of the Emerald Crystal. Tell me something. Why? From everything I remember, I should be dead. But somehow I woke up and found myself here. What is happening to me? Hmm. Curious. In order to address that query, I'll need to tell you about the Emerald Rain Project. Pay close attention, and I believe you will have all of your questions answered. Why you are here, despite your apparent death in that explosion on the island, and what that light is that surrounds your body. Tell me, who are you? Ah, uh, yes. My name is The Leader. I am the brains behind this organization, the world's most powerful supervillains. We are the masters of evil. <sighs> There's just no way. Pruno's still alive? That's not possible. We saw him fall into that mass of energy. <sighs> I hope it's true, but how could he have survived? Could it all be some kind of illusion created by that emerald aura? What is that thing? Is Makoto going to be okay? Put yourself in his shoes. If he'd mentioned these episodes, he probably thought that you wouldn't let him become our apprentice. I'm just mad at myself for not picking up on it. Some mentor I am. Calm yourself. We'll locate Winter Soldier and the others soon enough. When we do, we'll get them to tell us what that power is. Assuming the vision that Makoto had wasn't just some sort of hallucination. <sighs> Heads up, we've got incoming. Hey, nice flying. Did you learn that in the Air Force? I was in the Army. Ready when you are, Ares. Hmm. Let's see how they like this. We can't take another hit like that. Iron Man, Thor, Wasp, go on ahead. Commence the assault. I'll land this bird somehow. Go! Friday. Find out where they're coming from. There it is. Come on. Right. Got it. Avengers, assemble! assemble. Well, well. Seems the Avengers are on to us. It's no good if they don't take the bait. Whatever, leave him. We can handle the next part on our own. Oh, he's so strange. What's with him anyway? Well, let's see. Where should I begin? <laughs> All right. I shall start by telling you how the Emerald Rain Project required a great deal of time and money. I don't care. None of what you're saying has anything to do with me. On the contrary, it has everything to do with you. Time, money, resources, so much was needed for the Emerald Rain Project. There was no way we could have completed it alone. So we decided to join forces and partner up with Red Skull. In return for his assistance, we shared our amazing state-of-the-art nanomachine technology with him. 
And though he enjoyed the fruits of that technology, he betrayed us and tried to proceed with the Emerald Rain Project by himself. You were probably one of the first ones he experimented on. You don't remember any of this? His attempt to mimic the Emerald Rain Project was a failure. Or, at least that's what Red Skull seemed to think. From the looks of things, it appears he had at least one success. And that would be you. I still don't get what's happened to my body. And I don't get this Emerald Rain Project. <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> Looks like fun time is just about to begin. <laughs> Flaming Inferno Dragon. Have as much fun as you like. It has finally commenced. Come with me, please. Give me one good reason why I should. Isn't it obvious? <laughs> the smell of violence and destruction. The premonition of doom. What you are feeling is the battlefield calling to you. Why struggle when it's so obvious you want to go to it? Desperately, so desperately you can't resist it. That's the essence of the science used on your body. The evolution triggered by the Emerald Rain Project. Could be nothing, but leave this to me. You go help the others. They'll need you to defeat Ares. I got it. Perceptive as ever. Couldn't see you, but I could feel your stare. Not a good quality if you're trying to hide, Winter Soldier. Shield throw! Captain America, I will destroy you. Lightning strike! And bomber! <laughs> I have dreamt of this battle for a long time. Thor, son of Odin, I am Ares, son of the great god Zeus. It's an honor. Now come forth and... Hulk smash! A legend in his own mind. Repulsor! Have some wasps sting! <laughs> it's just an arc reactor and some bioelectricity. You fools, I'm not afraid of your science. Darkness Spear! <laughs> Your magic won't stop me! Kirby! <laughs> Talk to me, Friday.
What happened to him? Don't do it! Wait! Easy, Wasp. It's very nice to meet you, Bruno. I take it you're confused about this power you don't understand. Am I right? It's okay. Leave everything to us. We're here to help. Makoto's with us, too. Uh, come with us. We'll take you to him. Huh? Where's Makoto? Ah! Wasp, no! Don't pay for that! Those arms! I knew they looked familiar! They're made with Red Skull's nanomachines! I've had enough of this! Wanna try that on me? Gladly! Bruno! Makoto! Those people you just viciously attacked are my friends! They came here to help! What are you doing?! I thought that was obvious. I'm using my newfound power. Bruno... I've always wanted this kind of power. Always wanted to prove myself. To beat you! Now that I have it, that's exactly what I'm gonna do! I don't understand what's happening to you. You wanted power so you could beat me? What are you talking about? I thought we were a team! Here to be resonating. Who would have thought Hydra had another successful test subject? I thought you didn't survive. We really do make the best team, don't we? Bucky? Bucky Barnes, is that you? I'll stop you! Bring it on! They're at their limit. Did you hear what I said, Winter Soldier? Go out. Use the teleportation device. Wait! Stark still clueless. This level of scientific phenomenon is beyond you. Your obsolete intellect cannot possibly process what's happening. <sighs> hmm. Now try wrapping your brain around this. Teleportation? <sighs> what's happening? Too much, I'm afraid. Look at Makoto. Get away! <laughs> <laughs> 
Please! I don't think I can control it! I feel it building! Gonna get bigger and stronger! Gonna destroy every last thing in my path! Okoro! Ah, Iron Man! Ah. Forget about me and save yourselves! Hurry! Get away! Get away from me! Have the Avengers been annihilated? Could it be? Now other superheroes will need to step in to investigate the secrets of the Emerald Rain Project. But are they going to be up to the task? Will their research also uncover some way to defeat the Masters of Evil, the powerful team of villains that destroyed the Avengers? Next on Marvel's Future Avengers, who is the Winter Soldier? Catch the future, Avengers!